Well, Paul and Jessica, I spoke to the woman making that claim. Now, her post about it on Facebook has been shared thousands of times, but over the weekend, El Reno police also took to Facebook saying it seemed like an internet hoax. Crystal Ponder claims she and her daughters were followed as they shopped at this Walmart on Country Club Road in El Reno. In any aisle we would go on, they would pick up items and put them away in the next aisle. She says it was five men and one woman, so she posted this warning on Facebook, telling KOCO5 other recent posts about supposed stalking at stores automatically made her think human trafficking. El Reno police have not been able to substantiate her story or another woman's who visited the same Walmart days later. You have to protect your kids at all costs, and that's all I did, and it. It hurts because, you know, everyone just thinks I'm just a liar. A few months ago, another woman claimed she was being followed around an Oklahoma City Hobby Lobby. Oklahoma City Police Captain Paco Balderrama says the social media scares are troublesome. It's not very common for somebody to get, you know, kidnapped, you know, at Walmart or, or another big store. It just doesn't happen very often. It, it, you know, maybe in other cities it does, but here, you know, it's, it, it would be a very isolated case. So uh, I don't see the, the need to alarm and scare everybody. But he were now, Captain Balderrama also tells me that if his department ever gets wind of any trend involving crimes like this, he would actually alert the media, excuse me, alert the media and the public immediately. Reporting live in El Rito, Ariana Garza, KOCO 5 News.